South Carolina lawmakers officially began the 2020 session today in both the House and the Senate. News 19's Jacob Reynolds asked some House leadership about the governor's budget proposal and what they liked and what concerned them. This week, Governor Henry McMaster announced what he'd like to do with the state's $1.8 billion surplus. As the South Carolina House gaveled in the first day of the 2020 session, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle said the proposed budget had items they liked. The tax reform has been one of my passions, so the fact that the governor, and he has been previously, is aligned with that. I'm excited about that. I think we've got some financial opportunities here, got some opportunities to take care of teachers, take care of our state employees. Uh, I saw a lot of good things in the budget. The governor has talked about giving teachers raises. We're all in favor of that. We're not sure that $3,000 is enough because what we want is not just to be at the southeastern average, not at the national average, but we want teachers to be excited about teaching in South Carolina. Minority leader Todd Rutherford also approved of state employee raises. Republican and Speaker Pro Tem Tommy Pope and Rutherford expressed concerns about the governor's proposal to return $250 million to the taxpayer in form of rebate checks. Sounds to me like a gimmick. It's no time for gimmicks. We still got a budget deficit related to our pension program that is in the billions of dollars. And although what we have is 1.8 billion more than we thought we would have, it is certainly not a surplus by any means. As this session rolls in, and I know that again will be an issue, I'm hopeful we can do something more comprehensive that'll pay dividends past that one check and down the road. At the State House, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Now across the lobby in the Senate, senators approved making the education reform bill the first item debated in the chamber. Debate is expected to last at least next week.